Franchise, franchise, franchise. One of the things that I definitely want to uh, emphasize is, you know, when you, when you want to create a franchise model, you need to put a manual together. Um, that's one thing I learned. And a lot of time, you don't have the expertise to do that. You can find some sample online, but you don't have the expertise, so you got to get a consultant who has expertise in putting a manual together. Now, your, your franchise manual, it's the step from A to Z of what your franchise is all about you know the cause the training how long it will take what you're going to be training about uh what will be the revenue sharing um the logo the color what you can or cannot do as a franchisee what's the role of the franchisor it takes a few months two to three months on average to to develop but a lot of time you as the owner of the company knows about your um your business and your franchise business model better than anybody and and the mistake I made was I was looking for a consultant to just develop it from scratch ask me a few questions and do some back and forth but really come up with um, the, the, the the manual that is needed but most of those consultants are not on the ground they're not on the day-to-day -day activities that, like you are uh, they don't have the, 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 the really deep expertise that you have. So a lot of time they use the, the, the outline, generic outline that most franchise manual have to have, but the detailing you have to fill up. So looking back now, I, I always recommend a few things. Number one, don't develop a manual too early. You need to have already tested something on the ground have a, a, a concept so the first manual the first draft at least not the whole manual but the first draft of the franchise model should be developed by you the owner but you have to have some type of um, uh, uh, minimum valuable product that you've tested about your franchisee uh, franchising model before you bring a consultant um, uh, you know about the same thing you know what's going to be the franchise fee what's going to be the model how you going to train what will be the training about etc 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 and then the question becomes if you don't have those answers you're spending money for nothing you know and you're going to have to spend money again when you have tested your model so do as much as you can from the beginning uh, then when you have some uh, more input and you have tested and documented a lot of the aspect of your your manual then you move to step two. Step number two is how to find or select the right consultant. That's a tough one. So one of the challenge is to select a, a consultant from Africa. If you're an African company doing an African uh, franchise manual or expertise, it's even harder to find expertise on the continent. So you need to go by selection and you need to interview them and make sure they have the experience, the expertise that you're looking for. Um, you know, so don't pick a, a franchise, a, a consultant that has expertise in, in, in retail restaurants of a social impact business. It's just not going to work. They might be able to adapt a little bit, but it's not going to work. Uh, you need to find somebody who um, uh, has knowledge in your space. Uh, this consultant, franchise consultant that specializes in retail, some in micro, uh, in social uh social uh, franchising you need to go by selection and you need to interview them and make sure they have the experience the expertise that you're looking for you need to find somebody who's um, uh, has knowledge in your space also cost they're very expensive man you can spend 10 15 20 thousand dollars if you pick a consultant from the states India has very good consultants and I will go um, I will go in a website like Upwork that find freelancers that have specialty in this. Uh, that will be my best approach. Well, step number three, guys. When you find your consultant, 
and you negotiate a price point development I highly highly recommend it's not even a recommendation it should be a requirement that the person fly in to where you are to exactly see what's happening on the ground really understand your business model really comprehend the challenges what you're trying to develop what solution you're providing especially if it's unique if you're going to do a consultant model you need to um, read about some of the other model that can be from your potential competitors right and from there you need to see what's going to work what's not going to work and only you going to know that no nobody else so if that person is face to face and you guys are developing together at least the outline the the the, the key part etc etc then it becomes much easier for that consultant to fully understand your vision the approach of things and the understanding of your business model because if if the manual is wrong uh, the, the execution and the application of that manual will be wrong so it's very very important that that person understand what you're trying to do the final thing guys is break down the project into milestone at least five milestones because after milestone one or two you're not happy you can cancel and find somebody else the last thing also is make sure that you review the work they're doing if you're not reviewing the work and you're trusting them 100% it's going to be a problem because again, it's at the end of the day, you are responsible for the success of your uh, uh, franchise model. So you have to make sure it's going to the right direction. They bring the expertise to structure it, to develop the manual and all. But at the end of the day, you are leading uh, um, the business model, the manual, what, what, what will be in there, the key points and all that. It's not the other way around. If you think they're going to solve all the problems for you, then you are mistaken, highly mistaken. Remember that. So if you don't believe you have the right information, you're ready, don't get started yet until you have all the information, at least most of it. What's up, everybody? First of all, thank you for watching all the videos. I'm working on a project right now that I'm really, really passionate about. It's called the 50K Challenge. And that's 50,000 copies we need to sell of the book. Out of every 20 sales, I'll be giving one book to a young entrepreneur or young students. And out of every 500 sales, I'll do a one week mentorship to a young entrepreneur. I truly believe with your support, I can achieve that goal, guys. So share the books. If you haven't got it, get it. If you don't like to read, buy it for somebody else. And please share it also on social media. Thank you. Yeah.